Hi there everyone, welcome to another three-part series of tying rigs. Today I'm tackling D rigs. The first one will be obviously the IQD rig, then I'm going to do one with semi-stiff and then finally I'm going to do one where I actually make use of the D rig kicker. Three almost identical rigs doing exactly the same job but something that you can actually choose what, whatever you like to use. I'm going to start off by taking 40 centimeters of IQ2, cut it off, and you'll see that the line is quite coiled, so I'm going to just straighten it. Now it's much more workable. Hook wise, I'm going to use a size 2 quarter curve shank. You can use a size 4, but for today's purpose, just to show you exactly how that rig is tied, I'm going to be using the size 2. Starting off with the knot for the D. Now, I literally create a loop like that. And I'm going to be winding this tag end over the shank and through the, the loop four times. I'm going to go once, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to just lightly tighten it by just using my forefinger nail and my thumb nail and pulling on that. Now I can tighten it by using my crimping tool like that and then just making sure that I get the positioning correct. I want this D to start roughly in line with the barb of the hook. And you'll notice if the knot is tied correctly, this end ends up right at the bottom of the hook, like there, and it's out of the way. Now I take my micro ring swivel and I slide it through the line. Next step is to take the loose end, push it through the back of the hook so I can create my D roughly like that now I trap this between my thumb and forefinger and I wind literally around once two three four and five and back through the back of the eye again it's really important I see a lot of guys on the bank that actually gets the line to come out from the back end or from the bottom end to the back. Now that doesn't give you the right effect. You want this claw effect. Right? Next, I take my quarter kicker and I slide the kicker through. And over the eye as well as over the knot. There we go. Now I can open that up by just giving my kicker a slight turn. I can now open up that gap and you end up with an effect looking like that. Now I need to end off my rig at the back. Being a stiff link, I would like to make it 20 centimeters, so I'm going to fold it at 21 centimeters because my knot takes up a bit of space. So I go just a normal overhand and a double overhand knot. That gives me a beautiful figure of eight. So I take my chody tool
and I tighten the knot. There you have a very neat knot cutting off the tag end finishes off my rig. Now let's see how strong it is. Chody tool and the puller tool. Ah, I'm really pulling hard and this thing is going nowhere. Doing the bait presentation is the last part of this particular rig. So I'm going to take a floss cap. Let me just show you my packet. Floss caps comes in these neat little tabs. So you literally just break off one like that. And I push it into my bait like that. Now I take my baiting needle, push the baiting needle through. Okay, let me just put this away. I take my floss. Put the floss through the eye of the swivel. And then what I do is I fold this back so that those two ends end up by the eye of the swivel. Now it's just pulling the bait through and pulling the bait halfway into that little swivel. Now I've got a fair amount of floss to work with. So I just cut that piece off, burn it with the lighter And dab it and there I have it an IQD rig that will present itself on the lake like that and there you have it a perfectly presented D rig with a wafter ready to catch one of those biggies give it a bash